wow mat in this video we will define sequence finite and infinite sequence we will list the next few terms given several consecutive terms of a sequence and we will derive a mathematical expression or rule for generating the sequence by pattern searching let's have first an activity so ang gagawin natin Aalamin natin kung ano yung mga susunod na letters or numbers. Okay, so for number 1, I have A, D, G, and J. So ano kaya yung mga susunod na letters? We have M, P, S. What is the pattern? We will skip two letters. Next, for number 2, I have 1, 3, 5, 7. What is the pattern? These are numbers that are odd. So, therefore, what's next for 7? We have 9, 11, and 13. For number 3, we have 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25. What are these numbers? Or what do you think is the pattern? So, these numbers are all perfect squares. So, what is Next to 25, we have 36, 49, and 64. Number 4, we have 5, 15, 25, and 35. What do you think are the next numbers? So we have 45, 55, and 65. What is the pattern? We will just add 10 from the previous number. So, 5 plus 10, 15 plus 10, 25 plus 10, 35 plus 10, 45, and so on and so forth. And then for number 5, we have 1, 3, 6, 10. We have 15, 21, and 28. What is the pattern? We will add 2 from 1. So, 1 plus 2, that is 3. 3 plus 4, that is 6. 6 plus 4, we have 10. So, therefore, we will add 5 to 10, and that makes it 15, and then plus 6, 21, plus 7, 28. So, yung mga inad natin, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, plus 6, consecutive numbers. Okay, so a sequence is a function whose domain is the set of positive integers. It also means an ordered list of numbers. We have two kinds of sequences. A sequence is infinite if its domain is the set of positive integers without a last term. So kapag may nakita kayong three dots or ellipses, yan ang magsasabi sa atin that the sequence is infinite. While... A sequence is finite if its domain is the set of positive integers which has a last term or sometimes it is represented by n. So kung mapapansin nyo, meron siyang last term. That is a finite sequence. Now, each number in a sequence is called a term. Ano ba ang term? Halimbawa, I have 5, 10, ano, 5, 15, 25, 35, and 45. So, pag sinabi natin term, ito yung first term, second term, third term, fourth term, and fifth term. So, how many terms do we have? We have 5 terms. Now, remember that your N rep is represented by the order. Yung N natin, yan ay order nung terms natin. Hindi yan yung mismong number na ang ilalagay natin ay yung 5, 15, 25, 35, and 45. Hindi yun. It's the order. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In the sequence 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, we can denote that the terms as follows. So, A sub 1, Yung 1 na to, that is first term. So, uh, what is our first term? That is 1. 
A sub 2 means A sub 2 second term. That is 3. A sub 3, that is your third term. So that is 6. A sub 4 is 10. And A sub 5 is 15. Siya yung pang limang term dun sa sequence. Now, what if tinanong ka, what is the 20th term? What is the 19th term? So, paano natin siya kukunin? Diyan tayo gagamit ng general term o yung tinatawag nating rule. So, itong term na to, general term na to o rule, ito yung pwede natin gamitin para makuha natin yung mga susunod na terms, lalo na kung nasa malayo na sila. So, let us prove first kung tama ba tong rule na to. So, halimbawa, I have A sub 1. So, A sub 1 means first term. Tingnan natin kung talagang ang nasa first term ay 1 using this rule. So, 1 is equal to 1 half. And then, we will add this 1 plus 1. So, that will become 2. So, you may cross out or cancel. So, 2 and 2, that makes it 1. So, 1 times 1, that is 1. So, our first term, A sub 1 is equal to 1, which is correct. Next. A sub 3 means our third term. So, we will substitute again 3 to all of the n variables. So, we have A sub 3 is equal to from n over 2, that will become 3 over 2. And then n plus 1, that will become 3 plus, 3 plus 1 because we are referring to the third term. Okay, so we have add 3 plus 1, that will become 4. And then 4 divide 2, that makes it 2. 2 times 3 is 6. For A raised to 5, so A raised to 5, fifth term. Let's check if it's really 15. So substitute 5 to all N. So we have A sub 5 is equal to 5 over 2 for N minus over 2. And then 5 plus 1 for n plus 1. So we will add 5 plus 1. That will become 6. Pwede rin namang mag-multiply ka muna. 5 times 6, 30. Divide 2, that is 15. Or pwede rin 6 divide 2. Magkukross tayo. That is 3. 3 times 5, that is still 15. For a sub 2, we have yung second term. So 2 divide, of, divide 2 times the quantity of 2 plus 1 equals 3. Let's see. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. Divide 2, that is 3. So our second term daw is 3, and that is correct. And then A sub 4, we have 4 over 2 times the quantity of 4 plus 1. 4 plus 1, that is 5. Times 4, 20 divide 2 is 10. And A sub 4 is equal to 10. Okay. So, find the first five terms of the sequence whose general term is given by A sub n is equal to the quantity of n minus 3 raised to n. So, dito kukunin natin yung first five terms. So, yung unang limang terms, ano kaya yun? So, binigay yung general term. Let's try to solve. So, given yung formula na or rule na a sub n is equal to the quantity of n minus 3 raised to n. So, magsasubstitute tayo ng 1 doon sa mga n since ang hinahanap natin ay first term. So, first term ang hinahanap. So, ang ilalagay natin sa mga n na yan ay 1. So, let us solve 1 minus 3. That will become negative 2. And negative 2 raised to 1 is negative 2. That will be our first term. Next, first, the, our second term, so since second na ang hinahanap natin, is a substitute natin ang 2 sa mga n. So we have now 2 minus 3, that is negative 1, and negative 1 raised to 2, that is 1. So since negative 1 times negative 1, same sign, that will become positive 1. Next, for the third term, we are looking for the third term. So, we will substitute 3 sa mga n. So, 3 minus 3, that is 0. And 0 raised to 3 is 0. For our fourth term, we have 4 minus 3. 
that is 1. And 1 raised to 4 is positive 1. And for our fifth term, so we have 5 minus 3, that is 2, and 2 raised to 5 is 32. So we now have the first five terms of the general term A sub N is equal to the quantity of N minus 3 raised to N. We have negative 2, 1, 0, 1, and 32. Next, find the first four terms and the 20th term of the sequence whose general term is given by A sub N is equal to the quantity of negative 1 raised to n over 2n minus 1. So, ito na yung sinasabi ko. We really need the general term or yung rule natin kasi may cases na pang 20th term yung tinatanong. So, paano natin siya makukuha ng mas mabilis? With the help of the general term. So, let's solve. So, for the first term, so, ang una natin gagawin, substitute natin yung 1 sa lahat ng n. Ayun siya. So, we now have a negative 1 raised to 1 that is still negative 1. And then, substitute 1 to 2n. So, we have 2 times 1, that is 2, minus 1, that is 1. So, negative 1 over 1, that is negative 1. For our second term, substitute. Substitute 2 to all of our n. So we now have 1 third. For our third term, we will substitute 3. So we have negative 1 raised to 3. That makes it negative 1. And then 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 1, that is 5. So we will now have negative 1 fifth. Next, for our fourth term. So, substitute 4 to n. So, negative 1 raised to 4, that is positive 1. Now, remember, if our exponent is an even number, the product is positive. But if our exponent is an, an odd number, the product is negative. And then, let's go back. 2 times 4, that is 8. 8 minus 1, that is 7. So, we now have 1 over 7. Now, let's find out the 20th term. A. So, the 20th term, we will substitute 20. So, negative 1 raised to 20, since 20 is an even number, therefore, the product is positive 1. And then 2 times 20, that is 40, minus 1, it's 39. So the 20th term is 1 over 39. Now, remember that if you have the quantity of negative 1 raised to n, this is the general term that causes the signs of the terms to alternate between positive and negative. So kapag nakita natin tong negative 1 raised to n, yan ang palatandaan natin na ang terms natin ay magiging alternate ang signs. So kagaya nitong example na to, kung mapapansin nyo, negative, positive, negative, positive. Why is it positive? Because, since 20th term siya, kung mapapansin nyo, yung second term natin at fourth term ay even numbers, also 20. So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng nasa even number natin na term ay positive. Okay, now, baliktad naman tayo. So, given the sequence, we will find out the general term or the rule. So, I have here 1, 8, 27, 64, and 125. What do you think is the general term? Okay, so all of these numbers are the cube of the numbers. So, this will become a sub n is equal to n raised to 3. 
Halimbawa, 1. 1 raised to 3 is 1 times 1. 1 times 1, that is still 1. And then 2, 2 times 2, 4 times 2, that is 8. That's why it's n raised to 3. Next, I have 1, 1 half, 1 third, 1 fourth, 1 fifth. So what do you think is the general term? Okay, kung mapapansin nyo, the denominators just increase consecutively. So, nag-i-increase -in lang siya. No? Magkakasunod. Pag sinabi natin consecutive, magkakasunod. Okay? So, therefore, the general term is A sub N is equal to 1 over N. Kung ano yung term niya, kung pang ilang term siya, that is the uh, denominator. Next, I have negative 5, 10, negative 15, 20, and negative 25. So, what is the general term? So, kung mapapansin natin, itong mga numbers na to ay multiples of 5. Now, take note. Kung mapapansin natin, ang signs niya nag alternate So, ano nga yung sinabi ko kanina na gagamitin kapag ang signs natin ay nag alternate we will use the quantity of negative 1 raised to n. Now, since multiple siya ng 5, ita times lang natin siya sa 5n. Next, I have 1, 4, 9, and 25. So, the general term is, what are these numbers? These are all perfect squares. So, therefore, our general term is, a sub n is equal to n raised to 2. Next, I have 3, negative 6, 9, negative 12, and 15. What is the general term? So, nag alternate na naman siya. So, we will be using negative 1 raised to n minus 3n. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to our WowMath channel. Just keep on watching!